Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we're on January 5th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do. Giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here, looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, brought to you by Gong and Go 16. Mixed with Daily Events Worldwide, multiple M-class solar flares to report the past 24 hours. It's been a busy night, and it's still yet continues to be busy. Amazing images here. I wanted to zoom in on amazing little plasma filament destabilization right there on the right-hand side. Looking at 304 angstroms. Most recent sunspot region did produce an M-class solar flare, but you can see a plasma shot coming out of the southwest region. Right there. Massive plasma filament shooting out of the sun, stretching probably 25 Earths tall. Looking at 171 angstroms, we have those coronal holes turning away, but now we have an Earth-facing equatorial, minimal coronal hole, but still another Earth-facing coronal hole, and right in front of a very active sunspot region. Looking at our sun in another light here, and I want to take a quick moment to thank you all for watching. Pressing play tonight, wanting to stay aware and prepared with the daily events worldwide. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. Get in the comments section, maybe share with a friend and family who might enjoy this channel. Observing here the most recent M-class solar flare shooting from one of the 11 sunspot regions, 3947, still putting on a show as it has produced nine strong solar flares over the past 72 hours. As it comes for an Earth-facing party, yay! Current space weather conditions, we are under R1 minor radio blackouts and as well S1 solar radiation storm impacts. As forecasted here with daily events worldwide, solar winds are coming in at 573 kilometers per second. Still very fast solar winds hammering our planet. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see, one, two, three, four, six, actually six M-class solar flares overnight. Solar proton flux was up into the S1 range. Geomagnetic activity hopped up to a KP4 throughout the day today. Space Weather Prediction Center has updated their space weather spiral here. Fast moving coronal mass ejection, which was shown yesterday in Alaska 3 images impact dates and times at the top there but yeah this was a very fast moving coronal mass ejection taking about 24 to 36 hours to hit the GOES-16 satellite just wait solar maximum set to bring in many more solar flare and solar storm events over the next 11 years as we go through the solar maximum. ISWA space prediction spiral showing its most recent CME, minor CME taking off towards Venus. LASCO 3 showing the last 48 hours of imagery. See that fast moving, fa very fast moving coronal mass ejection. Plasma filament that destabilized on the surface of the sun which was shown in the beginning images there at 304 angstroms. Looking at tonight's aurora forecast versus tomorrow's, definitely probability for a show with the aurora borealis. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours, starting out here with the largest across the world, 6.2 earthquake, El Salvador. Caribbean plate has been a hot spot recently. 3.8 earthquake there, Caribbean Plate, Virgin Islands. Notable 3.6 earthquake here at Rachel, Nevada. And as well, 3.7 notable earthquake, pretty rare region, Awalawa, Hawaii. So that's north of Maui, out in the middle of the North Pacific. A little bit strange. Carrying on here around the world, Philippines Plate active today, Ponte Catan. Philippines 5.1, 5.3 here in Papua New Guinea. New Caledonia active as well. 
the Fiji microplates, deep earthquakes today, 553 kilometer depth, and as well, 487 kilometer depth, Fiji rocking some deep ones. So heads up, we could see some larger shallower earthquakes to follow. Notable earthquakes here, Afghanistan as well, up into northern Tibet, 4.5 there. And Af Africa earthquakes continue to rumble. Notable 4.4 earthquake there, Zambia today. So apparently 80,000 people have been moved to safety for the Dafon volcano, which has erupted as well. So multiple volcanic events and earthquake events across Africa. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected by these most recent events. Quick glance here at the last seven days for shakers and movers. Definitely some movers on the African plate. And as well, I mean, again, our earthquake globe here looks like a pin cushion. Very active week, but earthquakes are down right now at 150 past 24 hours. So heads up, something's about to brew or something is brewing. Something's about to pop, quite possibly a volcanic event or a large earthquake. Having a look at the air quality forecast brought to you by our active and erupting volcanoes. You can see big plumes still coming out of Kilauea, Central Pacific. And as well, things are clearing out across the rest of the world, apparently. Which is a good sign because it was quite nasty with last week's SO2 forecast. Stay tuned as things do change daily here with daily events worldwide on our planet ever-changing. Now let's have a look at world weather as we've got a nor'easter set to head out to the Atlantic and then race back into the Atlantic provinces. Strong winds and blizzard-like conditions associated with that. Long-range forecast, Alberta Clipper moving in to a very cold eastern Canada. And Atlantic provinces, you've got at least four or five snowstorms to deal with over the next seven days. Having a look at the snowfall totals across Canada. Yellows are upwards of 30 centimeters. Reds are 100 centimeters. Pinks and purples are upwards of 487 centimeters of snow. So almost 500 centimeters, 5 meters of snow falling in parts of northern or shorelines of Alaska. As well, at least 100 centimeters expected over the next 10 days across the Atlantic provinces. Lots of snow falling across northeastern Europe. Carrying on here with the world weather, multiple lows and windy events affecting the United Kingdom, Ireland, and all of Central Europe. Possible cyclone here affecting northern Madagascar yet again and then racing into Zambia. So, Heads up, South Africa, you do have a cyclone on your doorstep. And as well, the Mediterranean could see some snow in the long range parts of Greece. Now let's have a look over Australia and Southeast Asia. No major cyclones or typhoons forecast here, but some pretty strong systems in the North Pacific, all racing towards the same region which seems to be Alaska. So, heads up Alaska, you've got multiple systems and wintry snowfall systems heading your way. Atmospheric river of snow and extreme cold temperatures swinging around from Russia. Polar vortex quite amped up and set up for a very cold and snowy winter. 2025. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware and prepared. And have fun. We'll catch you daily.